guys, it is Monday. I'm just gonna sit on sit on the step, chat to you for a sec. Um, I've got a really cool week planned this week. I'm not gonna be home much at all. I've got today and tomorrow at home. Wednesday, I'm going to Paris for the day with L'Oreal, which will be amazing. They're launching some new lipsticks. I'm not really sure what the itinerary is, what we're going to be doing, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the new products and having a little day, day out of London. And then from Thursday onwards till Sunday, G and I are going away on our first little trip away alone. We booked a cute little Airbnb in the Cotswolds. It's his birthday this week as well. So yeah, it's going to be a really cute little long weekend away, which I can't wait for. We um, had a little browse last night of things that we can do in the Cotswolds. We're going to go to a, a little town called Burton on the Water. Um, I think it's quite a popular one. You've probably heard of it if you know the Cotswolds. But they've got like a little model village and we're going to be doing ghost walk, which sounds so fun. So yeah, I'm hoping to vlog maybe a couple of days of that. Definitely going to vlog Paris. And then I thought I'd vlog today as well. Just got a day at home. I've got so much work to do over the next two days so that I can take the rest of the week off. So I've just edited a video. I've got another one to edit. Another two to edit, actually. Fingers crossed I get those done. I've also got to prep some stuff for G's birthday. I need to get some wrapping paper and a card and do that and pack as well. So it's gonna be a busy, busy couple of days. I'm just on my way out to go to Sainsbury's to do a little bit of a food job. G's coming around tonight, so I decided I'd make us a stew, a beef stew. I haven't made one all winter and it's one of my favorite things to make. So I thought I'd go and pick up the ingredients now and get it all ready and start cooking so that we can eat it in like seven hours and it will be nice and like delicious shopping bag out do i need another one no that should be fine so that is what i'm gonna go and do just got home bumped into my housemate outside our flat which was funny and got a parking space outside my house which never happens i'm gonna show you quickly what i got so i can start the stew i've got so much to do i'm feeling really stressed i can do it i've got this positive vibes Ooh. got some of these crisps which look amazing i'm pretty sure i had some of these around my friend's house last week and they were so delicious lime and sour cream flavoured. Oh. I also found this edamame spiced dip, which looks really interesting. So I thought that might be a nice starter for this evening, even though it's not the same genre. I got some rice cakes. I haven't had these in ages, but I thought it'd be a nice snack with some peanut butter on top. I used to have that as a snack all the time and it like satisfied the need for something and it isn't too bad for you. So got that. Stew ingredients got a leek, got some baby potatoes, this isn't for the stew but I got some melon and grape as like a breakfast thing with some vanilla activia. Dumpling mix, I got a Colin the Caterpillar cake, a Sainsbury's version for G's birthday Thursday so I'm going to pack this up and hide it and take it. I got a mushroom and cheese quiche which I'm going to stick in the freezer for next week. And I've got my meat. I've got some extra lean diced beef. I'm really sad at how much packaging this has. But um, it's carrot, parsnip, uh, suede and an onion for the stew. I've got some beef casserole mix just in case I've run out of grave like granules. Because I think I have. Maple syrup. Got some spare birthday cards. Yeah, I'm going to put this away and then I can start cooking. Okay, so I'm browning my... Um, beef. I've dusted it with flour to thicken it and I'm browning it in a pan with a tiny bit of oil and my onions and garlic. Looks pretty grim at the moment but it will be so delicious. Disaster! One of my favourite bronzers just broke. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm really sad about this. In better news, Bondara sent me a present. Bondara, one of my favourite sex toy brands, sent me this bad boy and a little lube as well i'm a bit hesitant about flavored lubes but i mean i'll definitely try it very exciting looking forward to trying those out Ooh. i have come to my local cocktail bar with this one and this one we're just having a nice ketchup just got home and made the dumplings and here is the stew mm. Mm. Got a few tons of the Eurostar and 
Eiffel Tower is behind me. We're going for lunch. It should be nice. No, it's like a sculpture park. We're going for lunch at a place called, what is it? Monsieur Bleu. <laughs> Inside without alcohol. I might have one. Thank you. Alcoholic beverage with a view. Look at this. This is where we're having lunch. In a bubble. <laughs> we are literally in a bubble. This is so beautiful. Look at this dessert. This is where we had lunch. Oh, so nice, I've got one of the new lipsticks on. It's the Rouge Signature in I Don't. It's like an orange red. We are taking some pictures by the Eiffel Tower down the most amazing street. I'm, I'm gonna vlog everyone. I'm with Laura. Hello. Ree, where's Ree? Ree's there. Loads of other girls, we're all taking gorgeous pictures. So beautiful. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I really love heights. <laughs> <laughs> been delayed by two hours because of like security and passport control issues and um, but we finally made it on we're probably going to be waiting on here for a little while but should be home soon just got home after a really long day having a cuddle with a little bear now um, i had such a lovely day today it was so nice to meet some new um bloggers that i haven't met before and have a day out in paris and um, we had some really awful delays getting back home um, and um, my dad sent me a news article. The reason why was because Eurostar were having a practice for when Brexit happens on like interrogating everyone as they kind of left. Security was really high. Yeah, and it was um, a glimpse into the future, I guess, of what's gonna happen now if we wanna travel outside of the UK, which is really sad. So yeah. It's not good, but I had a lovely day otherwise. I'm exhausted though now. I woke up at five o'clock this morning to get there, so I need to take my makeup off. How good has this lipstick lasted? I'm wearing one of the new L'Oreal shades, and I haven't topped up since like 12 o'clock, so 10 hours later, it's still going strong. I need to go to sleep right now because I'm exhausted, but I will see you next on my little trip to the Cotswolds. Hello everyone, it is Friday and we are in the Cotswolds! We drove up yesterday, had a nice little dinner at a pub around the corner and we're staying in the cutest little Airbnb so I wanted to show you around quickly before we head out for the day. I'll show you the outside in a sec but we've got these gorgeous like big windows. The lighting in here is beautiful. Then we've got this nice cute little kitchen, living room area and then out here is where it gets pretty magical all the brick brick walls and the spiral staircase this is my outfit today <laughs> i'm wearing like a polka dot um play suit from asos and a jumper from pull and bear and some boots and then we go up here wait for it wait for it cute little bathroom and then this is the bedroom. This is where we are sleeping. Oh my God, the bed is so comfy. The comfiest bed I've slept in in a really long time. I just love all the exposed beams. Lovely view in the morning, waking up, looking out of this. This rug is so soft and we also played, um, G bought us this game and it was so fun. We played it last night. Sherlock Holmes consulting detective. You basically get like um, a different case. This is what we did last night and you have to like follow up leads and talk to people and it was really fun and solve the crime. So we're going to do another one later I think. There's Jack the Ripper ones in there which is so fun. So we played this on the rug last night. So lovely. 
so cute. Today we are going to a town nearby called Burton on the water for a little walk and tourist activities. So it should be a nice day. Look at that building grave in the countryside. I've got a chauffeur. How cool is that? Taking some pictures. Look how beautiful this is. I love it here so much. All the buildings. We're in the model village. I feel like a giant. Look, got a little post office behind me. <laughs> Just sat up. I love it here so much. We've come to a little tea room for some lunch. We have got omelet. It started raining outside and we were driving through. Um, a place called Upper and Lower Slaughter and it started really raining so we are like oh we'll find some shelter we found a beautiful manor house and we've got a living room with a fire to ourselves look at this place how cool is this I love all the pink chairs we've come to another town called Stow on the Ward I think it's called we are in Britain's oldest ever pub it was built in like nine nine 74 AD. The decor is really cool. I don't know where G's gone. Where has he gone? <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at that fire. Blimey. I could, f I could fit in that loads. Roast me. <laughs> Roast me. <laughs> Love these chandeliers. Also the books in the bell jars. How cool are they? We there wasn't any there aren't any tea bags at this Airbnb, so we had to buy some. G picked out these because he's from Yorkshire. He's picked out multi biscuit brew. It tastes like tea and biscuits, so we're just making a cup of now. Oh, it smells. It, so smells it smells literally like malted biscuits dumped in tea. So let we'll try it out and let you know if it's any good. I've never seen this before. Have you in a shop? No. And this is also very good because. It's Lent, Lent started, and I gave up fizzy drinks and biscuits for Lent. It's been three days now without fizzy drink. <laughs> Day three, and I'm struggling. But I've been doing good. I've been having fruit juices, haven't I? Which probably has just as much sugar in. So it kind of defeats the point, but... Yeah, hopefully this will help the biscuit craving. We've obviously moved into the bedroom to try out here. How is it? I don't know. It's really good. Oh my god, that's really good. <laughs> Is it great? This has changed my world. Everything mm. I knew about tea has been. Oh my god, that literally down. tastes like a biscuit. That might be the most perfect brew of all time. With soy milk as well. Imagine what it'd be like with normal milk. <laughs> We've come to a romantic meal for the evening. Look at this dude. That is humongous. It's Saturday, we've come to Sudley Castle for the day. And we've just got here, but oh, fish! Look at them! What are they? Koi trout. We are doing this, and we're gonna explore a bit. Oh, this is not making any sense. Start 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 again. <laughs> this is petrifying. We can go in there. Are you going to go in there? Ah. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs> it says no entry, but we're in it. No, there's not. No. Shut. Are we allowed to be in here? <laughs> <laughs> that curtain's moving. No entry into there. Yeah, you can't go in there. But I think it, I don't think we're allowed in there. It's just this has fallen down. There's a dead rat over there. Who is he supposed to be? Dungeon tower. This. We are on the haunted staircase. Rattling ghosts with chains. <laughs> Look at this guy. The little. He's over there. Is he? <laughs> you look, you're facing the wrong way. No, don't close up. <laughs> hey. Hello. Do you want to look at yourself? 
<laughs> Look, it's you! Uh, the, uh, yeah. oh, just driving through the Cotswolds, stopping at some little towns, and we found the most amazing little house. Look at how adorable that is. Gates, I love the gates, very gothic. Look at this place. I want to live here. <laughs> and opposite, look at this. Oh. Literally the cutest. We have now come to the Lygon Arts, which is where Gleam had their Christmas party a couple of years ago. Um, but we've come here for. You stealing one of my chips? <laughs> You've got chips. <laughs> Come here for lunch. What was that? I've been found in a lot. Can you see? There's a lion imprinted. We've got sandwiches. The actual bakery itself has got two ghosts. There's a man in black that you see at the corner of your eye, and as you turn towards him, he just disappears. And there's another ghost in there that's quite unusual, a little bit embarrassing to talk about really, because um, there's a ghost of a brick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't end my vlog on Saturday, so I wanted to quickly say goodbye now. Um, I had the loveliest time in the Cotswolds exploring all the little towns, they were so cute. Really want to go back at some point soon and do kind of like the south part of the Cotswolds because we mainly focus on the north but I'm going to write a travel guide on the places that we went and like if you guys want to go then my recommendations of like where we ate and like places to visit and stuff like that but yeah it was a really nice trip um I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you next week Mwah!